Take some time to focus on yourself and see what unfolds. Ever thought about what's really holding you back from your biggest dreams? Just pause for a second and reflect. Often, the biggest obstacle in reaching our goals is actually ourselves. Pretty interesting, right? Welcome to Stoic Adventure, where the journey towards self-discovery begins. Welcome to this awesome video that's set to change how you tackle challenges and how you view yourself in the mirror each day. If you're on the hunt for the secret to releasing your full potential and tackling life's ups and downs with solid confidence, you've landed in the right spot. The answer might just be more straightforward and powerful than you think. Let's focus on ourselves using the principles of Stoicism. Join me on this journey of self-discovery and growth that's sure to shift the way you connect with the world around you. Ready to find out the ancient secrets that can flip obstacles into amazing opportunities? Then stick around and let's dive into this adventure together. Ready to kick things off? Let's do this. Have you ever thought about how essential it is to stand tall when life throws challenges at us? We all face tough times that can feel super overwhelming at times. Marcus Aurelius, a dude who was both an emperor and a philosopher, has some solid advice for us. He teaches that the obstacles we meet aren't just there to trip us up, they're actually meant to push us forward. He believed every difficulty we face has a hidden opportunity wrapped up in it. When we start thinking this way, it really changes our outlook. Facing problems is like tackling a tricky puzzle. At first it can seem really complicated, maybe even impossible. But with a little patience and determination, we can slowly piece everything together until the big picture starts to clear up. And isn't that feeling of finally finishing a puzzle just amazing? That's the core of what Marcus Aurelius was saying. Every challenge we encounter is like a piece of the big puzzle of our lives. We might not know where each piece fits right away, but every single piece matters. When we manage to get past an obstacle, it feels like we've finally found the spot for one of those tough pieces. Now, think about this. Every time you tackle a challenge, you're actually leveling up into a stronger version of yourself. Each problem you solve and each barrier you break through adds to your strength and confidence. So the next time a challenge pops up, remember it's not a cue to back down. It's a green light that you're heading in the right direction. It's a chance for you to learn, grow, and toughen up even more. Now, I want you to take a moment and think about something that's been bugging you recently. Try to see it not as an unscalable wall, but as a door. A door that, when you push it open, can lead you closer to your true potential. Is it tough? Sure, it might be. But is it possible? Absolutely. Keep in mind that you've got everything you need within you to take on what's ahead. Every challenge is your shot to show yourself what you're really made of. So take a deep breath, charge ahead, and face it head on. The path in front of you is yours to explore. And trust me, you're ready for it. There's a principle that can be a guiding star along our journey focusing on ourselves and welcoming stoic virtues. These ideas, rooted in ancient wisdom, still resonate today, urging us to look within and use the incredible power of making choices with wisdom, courage and balance. Life has its highs and lows, giving us a stage to practice being good people every single day. So, what does that actually mean? It's about living intentionally and making choices based on what's right and good, not just for ourselves, but for those around us too. It's all about recognizing our fears 
and facing them with courage. Finding a balance between our wants and our passions while gaining wisdom about what we can change and what we can't is key. This journey is not about making big flashy moves or achieving huge accomplishments. It's all about the small decisions we make every single day. Think about how we handle traffic, how we treat our co-workers and how we use our time and energy. Every moment gives us a chance to practice virtue and become the best version of ourselves. But how do we keep our focus on growing as individuals without falling into selfishness? This is where Stoic wisdom steps in, helping us understand what we can really control. Sure, we can't control things happening around us, but we definitely have control over how we react to those things. Once we get this, it sets us free. We start to accept what we can't change and focus on what we can actually alter, our actions, responses and thoughts. The goal is to dig deep into self-awareness, identify our weaknesses and turn them into strengths. It's an invitation to live authentically, not seeking approval from others, but finding inner peace through our core values. Now just imagine how your life would change if you faced your fears with a bit more courage each day. And what if you found balance, saying no to too much and yes to what truly matters? Also, picture yourself striving to learn something new every day, expanding your understanding of the world and yourself. These are the questions that kick off the real journey towards a fulfilling and meaningful life. It's not a journey that finishes in a day. It evolves with every mindful step we take. So let's dive into something that, believe it or not, makes a huge difference in how we live. The power of choice. It's pretty awesome to realize that even when everything feels like a mess, we still have control over something super important, how we react to it all. Remember all those times you stressed over things that you couldn't change? Worrying about what others think? Did that really help you out? But here's the best part. Even if we can't change what's going on, we always get to choose our attitude towards it. This isn't just some fluffy idea. It's about taking a moment to say, okay, this is happening. I can't change it, but how can I tackle it in the best way possible? It's not about ignoring the issues. It's about meeting them head on with a mindset that gives us power over how we react. And what about getting to know yourself? Oh man, that's a wild ride. It's like being a detective in your own life figuring out what really drives you and how you respond to different situations. Trust me, the more you understand yourself, the better you can navigate this crazy world. Now the cherry on top. All this helps us live more harmoniously. You don't have to see courage as something only for superheroes or extreme situations. It's something we experience every single day. Courage is that strength that gets us out of bed on rough mornings, pushes us to try new things, confronts challenges, or admits when we've messed up. You see, facing tough times, the unknown, our own limits and failures takes a ton of courage. I'm not just talking about tackling huge fears. I'm talking about the everyday stuff like deciding to be honest even when we know it might not be what someone else wants to hear, or taking a moment to think about our mistakes and learn from them. Having courage also means recognizing that we will face tough stuff, but we choose to stand tall anyway. It's like knowing the road ahead is going to be rough, yet choosing to keep going because it feels right. Sometimes it's a struggle, it might even feel like we're swimming upstream, but that's exactly when courage shines. You know, 
Courage isn't about not feeling scared. It's about what we do when we are afraid. It's that inner voice saying, yeah, this is intimidating, but I'm stronger than my fear. And that, my friend, is super powerful. It changes us. It helps us grow. Think about all the chances that courage creates every time we face something head on with bravery. We give ourselves a chance to really shine and level up, and that's pretty cool. Every time we take on a challenge and face what scares us, we become tougher and more resilient. So, let's rethink courage, not just as something for those big epic moments, but as something that's always in our corner. It's that push we need to be authentic, to face our fears, and to learn from them. And remember that having courage doesn't mean you've got to do everything solo. Asking for help is a brave move too. Admitting we don't have all the answers and wanting to learn more, that's courage as well. So let's sprinkle courage into our everyday lives. Let's tackle our challenges, learn from our mistakes and grow because in the end, that's what keeps us moving ahead. If you're liking what we're sharing, smash that subscribe button and drop a comment. Did you know only 7% of our viewers are subscribers? Help me spread this knowledge even more. Now, let's jump into the idea of temperance. In a world where excess rules and the constant hunt for more pulls us away from real happiness, there's an old yet totally relevant idea, temperance. Yeah, this word might make you think of dusty old books and ancient wisdom, but it has a powerful secret for living a full and balanced life. Temperance might sound all fancy, but it's really just about self-control and moderation, finding balance in everything we do. Picture your life as a boat sailing on the ocean. Temperance is the rudder that keeps us on course, steering us away from extremes, whether it's wild storms of excess or calm moments of lack. The Stoics, those wise thinkers, didn't just see this concept as a nice idea. They recognized it as the key to happiness. They taught us that living in harmony with nature and accepting the world as it is can help us manage our desires and avoid the excesses that often lead us away from true contentment. Accepting the present and mastering ourselves is like holding that rudder tightly while at sea. Life, with its highs and lows, often tests our patience and our ability to stay calm. Life can throw all sorts of unexpected stuff our way that we just can't control. But here's the lowdown. The one thing we can control is how we react and the attitudes we carry. This isn't about rolling over or being a doormat. It's about taking charge of how we handle life's ups and downs. Facing reality can be a tough cookie to crack. Who enjoys navigating through tough times or awkward situations? But think of it this way. Fighting against things we can't change is like trying to stop the wind. It's a total waste of energy. On the flip side, when we focus on what we can control, like our actions, thoughts and attitudes, that's where our real power lies. This is the essence of self-mastery, recognizing that while we can't boss around everything outside of us, we absolutely have control over the most important thing, ourselves. That's a massive source of freedom. No matter what's happening out there, you get to choose how you respond in here. This mindset brings you solid peace of mind and a strength that nobody can shake. So, the next time you hit a bumpy road or a tough spot, remember that your reaction is 100% your choice. Take a deep breath, step back and ask yourself, can I control this? If the answer is no, then just roll with it 
and focus on what you can change. If it's yes, then you know what action to take. This active and mindful acceptance brings us peace and lets us live life to the fullest with a sense of purpose. Sure, it's not exactly a stroll in the park, but like everything else, it takes practice. The more we practice accepting the now and working on self-mastery, the better we get at rolling with the punches, being determined and, most importantly, finding peace of mind. And that, my friends, is a super powerful way to live. Now, let's dive into self-examination and the power of our minds. It's a strong tool we all possess but often overlook. Self-examination. This just means taking a good, honest look at ourselves, our thoughts, actions and feelings. It's similar to hitting the pause button in the craziness of daily life to check our map and ensure we're still on the right track. So, why should we care? Because without that pause and a little reflection, it's super easy to get off course. We might end up on a path that isn't even what we wanted. Self-examination helps us catch ourselves when we act on impulse or let our emotions take over, steering us away from our true values and virtues. Plus, reflecting on ourselves shows just how powerful our minds really are. The way we perceive the world and tackle challenges all starts in our heads. If we learn to manage our perceptions and reactions, we can seriously shape our life experiences. We definitely shouldn't push our feelings aside or pretend like problems don't exist. It's all about realizing that, while we can't control everything that happens to us, we have total control over how we respond to those situations. So, why not try some self-reflection today? It's super simple. Just take a few minutes in your day to think about your feelings and attitudes. Ask yourself, is this the person I want to be? If it's not, there's a chance for you to grow and improve. Let's dive in. Change starts in your mind. Have you ever thought about how powerful it is to choose where you focus your thoughts and feelings? This is where self-reflection comes in, along with the amazing benefits of meditation and mindfulness. They aren't just old-school practices or the latest trends to hop on. They're game-changing tools you can use every day for more control and inner peace. First off, realize that self-reflection is super important for being self-aware. So ask yourself, what really matters to me? Am I living according to those values? This ongoing journey helps us grow, determine areas we can work on, and most importantly, Make sure our actions match our true beliefs. Don't underestimate the power of taking a moment to really think about your life. It could be the key difference between just going through the motions and actually taking charge of your life. Ever feel like your mind is a wild ocean of thoughts and worries? Just imagine being able to calm that storm. Wouldn't that be amazing? Meditation shows us how to sit with our thoughts, watch them without judging, and gradually find a sense of calm and clarity. It's not just about zoning out your mind. It's more about getting that you aren't just your thoughts. You're the observer, capable of deciding which thoughts are worth your energy and which can just float away like clouds. Mindfulness is what keeps us grounded in the now, the only place where life really goes down. When you start practicing mindfulness, you begin to notice the little wonders in everyday life that usually slip by unnoticed. Each breath gives you a chance to really feel alive, and every task, no matter how small, is an opportunity to dive in fully. So here's the deal. See life as a bunch of present moments, 
each one holding the potential to be really experienced. Let self-reflection guide you, meditation be your steady place, and mindfulness be the way you view the world. By doing this, you'll discover a strength within you that you might not even know is there. With this strength, you can handle life's ups and downs and seriously thrive, discovering peace and joy in the present moment. It's all about being resilient and accepting that change is part of the game. The truth is, life's a wild ride with its highs and lows, packed with quick moments that shape and challenge us, finally showing us what inner strength is all about. This inner strength lets us face life's bumps, not as dead ends, but as necessary stops on the day-by-day -day journey we create. At the core of this journey is accepting that nothing lasts forever, a truth that urges us to welcome the fleeting nature of life. Everything changes and everything evolves. Instead of fighting this reality, we can choose to welcome it, learning to cherish each moment more deeply and meaningfully. When we get that nothing lasts forever, we start to loosen our grip on the things we can't control, redirecting our energy into what we can actually change, our attitudes, responses and growth. See challenges not as walls, but as invitations to grow, chances to build your character and deepen your understanding of yourself and the world around you. Every challenge is a lesson learned, and every challenge you clear is a step up in your personal growth. Building inner resilience also means finding peace within yourself, no matter how chaotic things get outside. It's all about knowing that, despite life's twists and turns, you've got an inner stronghold, a calm center that can't be shaken. That's the true power of resilience, the ability to stay whole and at peace, even when everything around you seems to be falling apart. I invite you to see each day, each moment, as a valuable opportunity for growth and discovery. Accept the idea of impermanence in your life and let it help you truly value the present moment. This will enable you to approach each day with a sense of purpose and gratitude. By recognizing the temporary nature of life, we can discover the undeniable beauty in the now and develop a resilience that carries us through every step. Kick off your day with some daily stoic practices. In the serene quiet of the morning, before everything gets busy and chaotic, Picture yourself at the center of a universe that's waiting for your light. I want you to do beyond think about it. Really feel that connection as a new day begins to unfold. This is your moment to set your intentions, those unspoken decisions that fill your day with your unique vibes. Start by lifting your spirit with small acts of kindness like helping someone out without expecting anything in return or simply sharing a smile. These little gestures may seem insignificant, but they build the foundation of a solid inner strength. As you move through your day, practice the art of moderation. This means finding that sweet spot between too much and not enough. Make a conscious effort to avoid getting dragged down by the temptations of excess, which often distract us from what truly matters. When evening comes and the sun sets, painting the sky in gorgeous shades of orange and pink, take a moment to reflect. It's the perfect opportunity to look back on your day, not as a harsh judge, but with the curiosity of a student. Ask yourself, what did I learn today? Each day brings lessons, some clear and others hidden within our experiences. I also recommend keeping a gratitude journal. This practice is incredibly powerful. It shifts our focus and helps us see the glass not just as half full, but overflowing with blessings. 
In it, don't just write down your happy moments. Include the challenges you face too, because even during tough times, there's beauty and lessons to discover. The journey we begin, guided by stoic principles, won't spare us from storms, but it equips us with the strength to face them. It teaches us to cherish what we have, accept what we can't change, and possess the wisdom to know the difference. So, as the sun rises and sets, we nurture an inner garden rich with peace, strength and gratitude. These daily practices become the tools we use to paint the canvas of our lives, a picture that reflects not only who we are, but who we aim to be. If you're liking this journey with us, make sure to subscribe so you can keep developing. I really appreciate you being here with me. Thank you for watching.